Hello and welcome back to part 7, I think it is now, of this Tekkit tutorial series. And as a warning, today's episode is optional. You do not have to do it, it will not help you progress massively in any way, and it will cost you a lot of resources. So be warned. As you can see in this chest, this is just a small portion of what you will need. Um, as you can see, you need about 280 UU matter, so that's going to take a long time. But first of all, we're going to start off by making an LV and an MV transformer. An LV transformer is some copper, two copper wires, and some planks, and a copper and an MV is a machine block and two copper cables. Now these transform electricity. Uh, the solar panels and the windmills we've got produce low voltage electricity. And for what we need today, we need to make some high voltage electricity. And what we can do is we can convert it up to high voltage or convert it down back to low voltage. And as promised last episode, I will show you how to make a recycler. Now a recycler is a compressor. And a compressor, if you remember, is some smooth stone, a machine block and an electronic circuit. A bit of dirt, some refined iron and a block of glow dust. Now take the recycler with me. All right. Here's where it gets interesting. We're going to make some nano suit armor, and then we're going to upgrade it to quantum armor. So to make nano suit armor, you'll need an energy crystal, which is a diamond surrounded by redstone. Now you'll need four pieces of energy crystal to make the entire set, and some carbon plates, which are compressed raw carbon meshes, which is two carbon fibers, which is coal dust in a block and then you get your nano suit body armor. Now this this is the, the equivalent of diamond plus a bit more. So all these bits are. So for the helmet, you'll need two bit, uh, four bits of carbon fiber, another energy crystal, and some glass. And for the boots, similar thing, four bits of fi carbon fiber and an energy crystal. Now for the legs, you'll need six carbon plates and one energy crystal. Right now, all that UU matter you've been saving up from the previous episodes, if you've been saving it, if you just left it on in the background, you know, not even thought about it, you can make some iridium ore. Now you will need, let me just check, 40 iridium ore. So that means you need 280 UU matters. And if you place it in an eye shape in here, you'll get one iridium ore. Now to make this into plating, you'll need some advanced alloy, advanced alloy, and some iridium ore and a diamond. And if you don't remember how to make advanced alloy, it is you compress some mixed metal ingots, which are refined iron, some bronze and some tin. And now that we have all the ingredients, we can make the quantum suit body armor, which requires the nano suit armor. Now it has the same, I think it's slightly higher defense value. You'll, you'll max out all your little shield slots but the quantum suit armor comes with special abilities, which I'll show you in a second. So to make the suit, you'll need three more advanced alloys, uh, some iridium plates, which you've just made, and some nano, the nano suit body armor you made earlier, and a lapatron crystal. It doesn't have to be charged, it can be empty. And a lapatron is made from an energy crystal, some lapis, and some electronic circuits. So I'll take this with me. Now. The helm and the legs are very similar. You'll need the, the, the older helm, lapidon crystal, some iridium plates, an advanced circuit, which is a normal circuit with some redstone, glowstone, and some lapis, and a reinforced glass. Now, reinforced glass is just a H of glass, or an I, depending on what you want, and some advanced alloy. Now, reinforced glass is tougher than glass. It's like nuclear reactor proof, so it's good for that. Uh, but you'll only need one block, one one lot of creation to get this and that'll get you the helmet. Now the legs require a lapidron and the old piece of leggings, some iridium plates, a couple of glowstone and a couple of machine blocks. The machine blocks are just eight refined iron but you should know that by now as you've probably made thousands of them. Alright next, the boots. Uh, so you'll need the old boots, the lapidron crystals, the iridium plating, just to show you again, just in case you've forgotten from about 10 seconds ago, which is iridium ore, some advanced alloy and a diamond, and some rubber boots. Now rubber boots are just, not that one, 
six rubber and any piece of coloured wool. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what colour it is. It could be fluorescent green, pink, purple, whatever you want, as you can see. You need two and they can't be used. They have to be completely new. Now, as you can see, they've got a little charge bar underneath them. This is because they need to have electricity stored in them. This is what the Lapidron crystal is. So we're going to have to work a way to get to store high voltage electricity. So we're going to need to make an MFE, which is four copper cables, four energy crystals, and a machine block. So we'll take that with us. And we're going to convert this MFE. I shouldn't have brought it with, don't really need it. Convert this MFE into an MFSU, which is the highest storage capacity. I think it's got a million or 10 million EU storage capabilities. Uh, but it'll need six Lapatron crystals, an advanced machine block, which is a machine block, some carbon plates, and some advanced alloys. And an advanced circuit, which is the redstone, the glowstone, and the lapis, and the null circuit. And the MFE we've just made. So definitely taking this one with us. So now I'm going to head over to our mass fabricator. And as you'll see, I've currently broken it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to place... Uh, a couple couple of scraps down here like so and just just for fun sake I'm gonna get us a stack of dirt just so I don't have to go and travel for it now what you do is you put your dirt in this top slot and you'll get this little recycling symbol pop up and it's roughly it's either a 1 in 6 or a 1 in 8 chance that you'll get some scrap and with the scrap you can either make fertilizer or uh, a scrap box, which is really useless, there's no point making them at all. Uh, so what you do is, you hook your thing back up, and I've got two now. So in here, you place your scrap in this bottom section, and it's this little noise, and this amplifier, it speeds it up dramatically. As you will see, it's not, it's not speeding it up at all, is it? There you go, 1%. It's just... Now this will take a lot longer if you've got low voltage electricity, which is what we're using at the moment. And this isn't good, but we can't do anything about that at the moment, as we it's very expensive to upgrade our solar array and wind turbines. Now I'm just going to quickly turn this off because it's really annoying. Now as you can see here, I've got a pipe, uh, not a pipe, a wire, from the bat boxes over to here into the low voltage transformer. Uh, pointed into a single dot. Now as you'll notice these have got single and triple dots. Let's put one here. Now a single dot is input. No it's not, that's a lie. Um, where you want the power to come off is the output and a single dot is input, yes. So I don't know what I'm talking about, complete nonsense. And over here we've got the same one, the MFE transformer. And this is exactly the same inputs and outputs and you can move these about with a wrench very easily, a bronze wrench. Um, now usually what would happen is you'd have a three dot MFE pointing into a one dot LV. Now this transforms medium voltage into low voltage but the way I've done it is I've got a three dot pointed into a one dot MFE transformer and this is the opposite. Now if you want to, if you want to go from LV to MV this is a lot of V's, I understand. You need to put a redstone current through it. All I've got is just a lever with a redstone current going through at the back here. And as you can see, in our MFSU, which we've created, I've just built one here already because it takes a long time to charge, as you can see. Uh, it will hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten million electrical units. So it is, it's a lot, and I've got 1.4 million in the thing there at the moment. But what you do is, you just pop these in the top, and as you can see the power drains very rapidly, and your little bar fills up. And you want to do this with all, every single one of your uh, pieces of armour. Now I'm going to skip here, and come back when they're all full. So I'll catch you in a second. Right, so welcome back. And as you can see, my little man is very badass looking. He's got his little helmet on, his chest, his suit, and his legs, and they're all fully charged. Now, each of these have special abilities. Now, you may want to rebind your hotkeys 
because by default, if I go down here, this uh, this one that says right control is left control by default. Now this armor suit also uses left control for some of its abilities, so you might want to swap your zoom over to something else, just so you know. Now with the with the boots, if you hold control and press space. You jump very high, and as you can see, I'm not cheating, creative mode's turned off. So you can jump to your heart's content, and you'll take no fall damage whatsoever. So I could quite happily... Ooh! Shh, that's the next ability. You can quite happily just jump over this wall, jump over there, jump up here. And if I, if I so wanted, I could turn creative off, and... Do a super jump off here. Boom. No damage whatsoever. Not even a tick. So let's make it daytime again. The next ability with the legs is when you hold control and you sprint, you go very fast. As you can see. This isn't normal speed, as you can probably tell if you've pl ever played Minecraft before. So this is some serious speed. Now the helmet allows you to be able to breathe underwater. Your air oxygen will never go down. Oh, it is going down. That is weird. Why is it going down? Maybe... hang on. Maybe you just don't drown. Oh no, it automatically filled back up. There you go. And it will also refill any food you have or you need. And as you can see, uh, you swim a lot faster in the water now because of... I think it's the legs that do that. The body armor just makes you invincible to everything, pretty much. Like, you can take literally no damage f from anything at all. Oh, it's a bit of fall damage then. Oh. Uh, also, you can't, you can't run out of food. You can't starve if you've got the hat on. But these all require charge, and as you can see, they've hardly gone down any. I mean, my legs have lost a little bit, and my shoes have lost a little bit, but that's nothing to worry about, is it? And I think, oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in my floor. That's interesting. Anyway, if I just come down here, I think there's lava. I don't think I'll take any damage. Nope. I could sit in here all day. As you can see, my fire texture is a little bit broken, so I'm just going to hop out of there. I'm actually fireproof. Oh, there's some diamonds down here. So it is pretty handy, as you can probably tell. If you take no damage, you're like, oh, just mining, mining away. Smashing some blocks, la 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 la, and you accidentally fall in lava, and you die. But the only way for me to get out of this hole is to cheat, because the hole is very deep, and I haven't made a jetpack, or anything similar, just yet. So, that's the end of today's tutorial. Uh, a couple of things to remember, it's very expensive, don't do this unless you're short, unless you've got an excess amount, like you've got 20 quarries mining, and you've got like your macerator set up and whatever, and... The other thing to notice is make sure you put an electrical current on your LV to MV, otherwise it won't work. And an MFSU is exactly the same as a bat box. So, hope you've enjoyed this, and I will catch you all next time. Subscribe, tell your friends, thanks for watching, goodbye.